Hi, Atukus Moons. This is your bonus reading. I welcome you all and I thank you so much for being here. I am Divine Femme Carrot 144. Very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. I'm doing this reading um, due to one of the tribe members and a comment that they left a few readings ago. And um, I've taken the time and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, allowed a spirit to speak to me and guide me and here we are. So this is dedicated to all of you who have your moon in a fucus or even any of fucus energy or if you're drawn to this reading. For this reading, I'm going to do five cards and I will be using the Cosmic Tarot deck. I've already pre-shuffled. And I've also left my windows up and it's raining outside. I love the rain. I think it's very cleansing. I love the smell of rain. I love the smell of everything outside affected by the rain. I just love the rain, even thunderstorms. I think they're, they're awesome. So um, we'll see how this goes. I, I usually close my windows because of the sound. But uh, we're gonna, I'm, I'm gonna roll with it and we'll just see how it comes out. So I'm just going to uh, shuffle this deck a few more times. Oh, also too, I decided also I'm gonna use um, the golden tarot deck here and we'll do a major arcana at the end. And close one of those. I've got two. <laughs> I think it was because of the music too and that's why I keep the windows closed I'm leave this right about here give me one second here I'm going to turn this up a little bit Okay, your first card, we have is the lovely four of wands. So with this, I'm just getting overall balance and stability. This is also a twin flame card. So I feel a lot of you may be a twin flame or have strong, very strong soulmate partnership that's happening in your life or will be happening in your life. Four energy is Cancerian energy, fourth house energy, and then wands energy is part of your energy, and then Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. I love this card. Um, it reminds me of a cinnamon swirl. So some of you may like cinnamon. Cinnamon may resonate with you. You may be using cinnamon for something, or you may like, uh, like cinnamon rolls. But um, overall, again, stability, being very balanced, and this could also be about commitment, marriage, union, coming together here. That's a great first card. I'm also seeing too, as I put that down, I noticed the arm, the extension of the arm and the leg, kind of withholding I'm holding on, I shouldn't say withholding, but holding on to this sun energy I'm getting here with the bird, seeing the bird flying over. And then the pyramids underneath here. East action, that could be significant. Northeast, I mean, we have all directions here, but the particular points here, I feel are significant. There's a letter F here. I'm hearing friends, friends first. So that could mean something as far as the commitment that's coming through. Illumination here too as well of past lifetimes I feel here as well. And this being a part of a transformation that's helping to keep one balanced. 
with the toe energy, I am getting Pisces. So you are someone that you are connected to could have also to Pisces very strongly in your chart. This could also be about the energy that's been in Pisces and the changes that are taking place, the significance of the abundance that is coming in. With the yellow being present there, very confident energy also coming through too with the yellow. That being tied to the solar plexus. And then also the energy of Gemini is here too with the color yellow. Third house energy. With Jupiter, that's ninth house energy. So let's move on. We'll see what we have next here. This is a great first card for your start here. Your second card. We have is the Ace of Swords. So this being a strong situation here, I do feel that this is very tied to a connection and the truth of a situation coming through here. Or someone wanting to speak their truth. I did have a little bit of a activation with my throat chakra. That being blue energy, and this energy of blue is surrounding the sword here. We have more of this yellow energy. I feel that's a part of the affinity energy I just spoke on with that yellow here and the four of wands. And a coming together of two individuals in this four of wands. This could also be about celebration here too. And the truth of who it is that you are and a part of your uh, destiny here coming through. But you being in truth overall, and I feel with that energy of you being in the truth, you're delivering the truth energetically as well. You being the light is also being an illumination, and maybe that's a part of this light energy that's being held here between the arm and the feet and part of the leg there. But this bird, the white bird, that could be about um, luck, serenity, a peaceful message from your ancestors. Swords energy is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is also the energy of um, a new start and something completely new. So with this following the four of wands, this could also be about a new home here too with the wands energy and the structure and foundation energy and also Cancerian energy matters of the home and the heart, protection, security nurturance but i do feel that for a lot of you this is the truth of a twin flame or a strong soulmate connection here i'm getting this connected to an ace of wands too there being some passion behind this with that wands energy being your first card there too um because i am kind of seeing this as an ace of wands that did come through and so um, I'm just hearing very sensual, passionate sex, relations, strong love energy, fiery, connected, telepathic energy with that swords energy. And maybe that's where the swords is being connected to the wand energy with the ace energy overall. They are in a new, a very brand new beginning here that is tied to a past life. You've got some yummies coming through. This is really nice. Let's see what your third card. Oh, and before um, I move on, just want to mention, for some reason, the energy of five came through significantly. Five is being about change. And also, um, fifth house energy of, of Leo. And then Hierophant energy as well. Hierophant having to do with the spirituality of oneself, but then also having to do with contracts. It's also the counterpart to the high priestess. But this being rising sign energy with the first house energy, second house energy being that of a Taurus energy, and also having to do with finance. I feel a lot of that solar plexus being very important there too. That being the third chakra, the third energetic chakra in our energetic centers. 
Lovely. All right. So let's move on to the third card. And that'll be third house energy of Gemini. And we did have that come through with the yellow energy that's coming through pretty strongly here. I do feel that telepathic energy is also speaking with the sword. This looks like an eye to me. So that being a part of third eye energy. Third eye chakra. That being after the throat chakra. So with some clearing with this energy of this ace of swords. That being about clarity there too. With some clearing there, I do feel that it's contributing to the remaining clearing as the elevation continues and goes up cleansing the third eye energy and then moving up to the crown chakra and beyond the crown chakra into um, etheric energy where we're connecting to our higher self. The third card we have is the king of cups. The king of cups. This is a lovey reading. As I said, y'all got something yummy coming in. So this could be you or someone you're connecting to, but I feel for a lot of you. It's a person who um, <laughs> is coming through very strongly and wants to make their presence known that they love you and that they care about you, that they see you, recognize you, appreciate you, they adore you. Um, that just came through like real smooth. So this could be someone smooth you think is pretty buttery, delicious looking. I mean, there's a connection here with what we have here for sure and with the telepathy that was coming through and um the heightened energy of passion and sex coming through i would say twin flames for a lot of you <laughs> were uh, twin flames from what i've learned and what i've been given a spiritual download is um a super, super unique and rare opportunity to be in a very heightened, spiritualistic, loving, galactic relationship, partnership, where I do feel, and I'll just speak for myself, so, and if this resonates with you, um, wonderful, but I've always felt... Um, even as a young child, being very aware um, that there's someone that is out there for you. There's someone that is meant and, and made for you. I've always felt that. I've always been given that message, and I've always believed that. And so going through the relationships that I've gone through, um, that's how I, I have come to be where I am today where I am a divorced woman and um, I've gone through a lot of relationships, but they've all helped me to come into greater awareness that there has to be something better because I know that what I'm offering, I will get that back. I had all the confidence in the world and I still believe that. And so I feel that um, that could be resonating for some of you, if not most of you, um, just having that knowing from within um connecting whether you're masculine or feminine knowing that you have a counterpart energy where that delightful loving trusting honest integral bountiful abundant partnership exists and so with that i feel a lot of that is coming from this king of cups where i do feel i feel there's counterpart energy with a King of Cups and a Queen of Cups energy. That coming from um, the Cups energy of you being both fire and water energy. But someone here is very much in love here. This is a strong emotional card. And with this coming out after the Ace of Swords, this King of Cups has some truth that they want to relay. And they're looking to the future. So there's a very promising energy, a very hopeful energy. This blue energy is all over this card here too as well. And we were just speaking on the throat chakra energy and that connection of the clearing. Once this uh, throat chakra energy, and I do feel that with as much energy that is here in blue, there's been a lot that's been withheld here within this person and a lot that they would like to say, a lot of emotion that is within them. 
I'm seeing a uh, crab here. And so this could be more of that Cancerian energy that was coming through here with the four of wands and that connection. A very stable person, a very loving person. One who is um, seen highly in the community, in the world, possibly here too. Very intuitive very much loved, as much love as they give. I feel there's a lot of love that comes towards them. I'm loving the beard. I feel like they could be um, a little flashy at times, but very, um, very into their grooming and how they feel about themselves. It, it matters more to them, which is very important about that self-love about how they how they appear to themselves and how and that I feel that affects how they feel and also their entire day this being very important to this person and again this could be you or someone you're connecting to <laughs> I love this card um it just there's a, a great adoration that's that's coming through here that's why i love it I, I love love and i feel like you all do too this is a very lovely reading there may be um some concealment or there may have been in the past with this connection here and the truth coming out because the feelings are filling up this person i feel there's a lot that they have been holding in and also want to express and share, especially with that fiery passion that was coming through. King energy um, is also a part of the emperor energy that going back to the four energy, four being the emperor card in the major arcana. So, um, and with that third house energy, that businessman, um, socialization, being very knowledgeable, intellectual, and that intuitiveness tied in, it's magician energy, having all the tools, and the direction energy was coming through here, so I feel that it's also tied to having the elements as well in there, and the energetic chakras coming through. There's a great combination here, and I feel that's a part of the magic that's within a particular connection here. All right, so let's move on to the fourth card, and this will be fourth house energy, going back to the four of wands energy that we got from the four and the Cancerian energy there, and throughout this reading here with the cups energy there. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Yeah, uh, let me grab some water. Never mind, we'll just, we'll keep going here. I'm gonna keep going with the flow here. This person has a lot to say. The King of Pentacles. So with the King of Pentacles, we have someone here who is very abundant. Um, I do feel... <laughs> I feel this is another component of this person is what I'm getting here. And that um, with that Gemini energy, <clears throat> excuse me, this could be this, um, this person here and just what they are encompassing a lot of at this current time here with the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. I do feel that this is the Gemini energy, the twin energy that's coming through with Gemini's um, being twins as their zodiac symbol. And so um, this is two parts of this emperor energy here, but someone who is very wealthy. This is that abundant energy that's coming through. And again, um, this could be you or someone you're connecting to. I do feel it's both energies, but more of the masculine energy that is coming through. And so if you are female and you're resonating more with the masculine energy, do take this as it resonates. But I do feel I'm going to keep these together because I do feel, and also too, I feel that this person is um, with that accomplishment energy and the business type, the business person energy coming through, 
this person being very proud of themselves just as i said i, I feel that their perception and how they appear to themselves is very important and the pinnacles energy being very significant here this is earth energy capricorn taurus and virgo and i'm hearing taurus energy coming through pretty strongly there but we do have um we've got mercurial energy that's coming through saturnian energy and then venus energy so having love for oneself and being in adoration but then again i feel that even if with the twin energy that's coming through and that we got here from this being a twin flame card the energy of two separate people here and the reflection of oneself being here in this energy here of one person and i hope that makes sense a very happy and joyful energy and then for some of you, what I'm getting to, putting that uh, double energy of one person aside, some of you could have two different people. And this being the truth when it comes to a four of ones partnership. So some of you could have two twin flames here. And so with what I had mentioned earlier about um, having that knowing about there being someone out there made just for you. I feel this is a part of that uniqueness and that rareness that's coming through where spirit has set you up to have more abundance of more than one twin flame where I do feel that um, there's been a lot of that restriction on what a twin flame could be. And so I do feel that um, it's all about a choice that's being made here for someone here having two different choices here and very interested you may have more than two you may have quite a few to be honest here <laughs> but there may be like a top a top two top three I don't know for some of you I'm hearing top five and I didn't know oh, top six take what resonates some of you may have two twin flames here <laughs> This is awesome. And so I feel with that being said, that with these twin flames and these soulmate energies, they're very similar. I feel that you may be seeing signs that are very similar between these two, but there's a distinctness between these two, being that one is this King of Cups and then one is this King of Pentacles, where King of Cups energy is more on that emotional sense. King of Pentacles is more of that practical sense. Where they both have a good amount of love here, but again, going back to the cups, that dealing more with emotion and intuition and a connectedness here. And with the King of Cups being here on the side of the Ace of Swords and the Four of Wands, I do feel that more of that connection is coming through here with this Four of Wands, where the King of Pentacles is on the other side of this King of Cups. But I am getting strongly that this is a two-part component of one particular person here. So do take what resonates. Let's see what we have for the fifth card. And I feel that's going to give a little bit more clarity to the situation. Um, we do have a few stories that are coming through. So I do feel that's going to resonate with um, everyone who catches this reading in some kind of way. So... Let's see what we have for your fifth card. And this is fourth house energy. So with the pinnacles being in the fourth house energy, I feel that that stability is also very important to you. And that being a part of the situation here where if you do have more than one person that you're connecting with here, there's a strong importance to this. This is a very abundant energy here too as well. But um, again, it's I feel coming down to the element and the situation and the matters of things where this King of Pentacles could have all the money in the world, but may not have this Cups energy. And this King of Cups energy could have all the emotion in the world, but not be expressing it, as I'm seeing here with all this blue here, where they could have an abundant energy here too as well with Pinnacle energy being a king here. It's all about, I, I feel very strongly about the elements and the importance of this here all right so let's see what we have for the fifth card the nine of wands 
All right, so some of you have two different people here and they're both tired. I feel that they're both tired and I feel that you're tired here too as well. I feel that this may be too. Um, I'm getting a story about a feminine who has a choice between two energies and this feminine is tired because they've been very strong in their masculine energy, just as I picked up here. So I do feel for a lot of you feminines, you are embracing this energy. Having come into this energy, you're being met with these energies outside of you. Having been given a choice, and a lot of you have two twin flames here is what I'm getting when it comes to a four of wands and a strong partnership there. But I do feel that with the internal knowing and the strength of what you have with the cups energy and then the importance of a pinnacles energy for yourself and your stability when it comes to matters of the home, it all comes down with the center card here. And you going within, listening to your intuition, and doing what is best for you. I also feel that for a lot of you, emotional department area, along with a, a pinnacle still being a prospect of this king here, may be a part of what it is that you're choosing with this being the center card connected to the ace of swords and then also the four of wands. Or if you notice where I put this king of pinnacles with this nine of wands energy, This King of Cups having a knowing about a particular connection and the strength of what it is that they have. Again, this comes down to a choice that's being made. So I'm not trying to influence. I'm only giving the message of what I'm being given here and sending this on to you. So Nine of Wands energy is the card of Chiron. This is your card here, a Fucus energy. So again, what I'm getting is that overall these two energies, everyone here involved is tired. I feel there's been a lot of work, especially coming into this king energy here. But with the decision making that I'm getting here overall, I'm feeling that for you individually as a person, there's the truth of a situation here. You coming into this power here of a king of cups and a king of pentacles. And at the end of this all here, just being in a place where you're tired, lessons have been learned. This is overcoming energy here too. Tied to Leo energy. And for some reason, I'm getting a connection here with the arm and the leg here, having that sun and holding that sun. With that sun now being right above a five of wands energy. That being a part of competition. So that being a sign there that um, one is just tired, maybe because of two fighting over you and this could be you or you could be a part of these two where i do feel that two energies are kind of in this five of wands energy both leo energy even though we have cups and pentacles here and this being a part of um, some kind of destiny here and a karma completion four of wands energy we have right here in the front and that being right in front of the uh, chakra energies that I'm getting a solar plexus and then the heart chakra. Rising up, see this ace of wand here? Oh my gosh. So that ace of wand energy that's coming through here is right in front of the throat chakra. And I feel that this is a part of that ace of swords energy that was coming through. This being connected to the king of cups here with the king of cups coming after the ace of swords. And that sexual passion and energy that's coming through from that overall nine of wands from both of these energies, but then yourself too. I do feel too, now what I'm seeing here is a transformation energy from this ace of swords and that communication with that wand energy coming through over the throat chakra. This being part of, I feel this is your energy is what I'm getting. This being about what is meant for you and your stability overall. And because of the stability, what you've been able to transform into. Where you're just kind of on a magical flight here. And you're this ace of swords. Being that truth. Being that clarity and providing that light. And in doing so, it's, you know, illuminating a situation here. That has to do with the Chiron energy. This being about a part of those karmic completions that we're here to do on this earth in this lifetime here as well. This is Wands energy, Fire energy, your energy, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. So this is a pretty interesting um, 
reading here, but I do feel that there is a divine destiny here and you've been blessed with the abundance of not just one strong soulmate energy, but two. And the speaking to the overall part of who it is that you are. If you don't know what your Chiron placement is, um, I do encourage you to look into that um, and see what that means for you. So that that can help you and assist you to know what a part of your purpose here is on this earth and how you can go about asking for guidance to help you to overcome anything that may have to do with battling that energy. Chiron is also a healing energy where Chiron is able to heal others. I do feel that with Chiron being able to heal others, there's an the energy of being able to heal oneself where there's been... Um, speech about Chiron not being able to heal themselves while they're being able to heal others. Where I do firmly believe if you're able to heal others, you're more than able to heal yourself. Everyone has that power within themselves. It's just a matter of knowing that and believing that. But we're ending with the Four of Wands energy here and ending with the Four of Wands energy that's right here. Even though this is a Nine of Wands, Nines are about completion. And then also that Jupiter energy I feel that's tied to the destiny energy of your abundance that's uh, meant to come through with some overcoming and accomplishing and moving into the success here of overall stability in the four of wands connection with soulmate and you having two choices here. But this overall being your energy here and because you've come into this energy, it's created even more abundance for you. Healing the chakra, the root chakra energies here too, seeing that risen where root chakra energy is more in the pelvic region. I feel with that rising, it's just sending it up into the universe and the sun healing this energy as you've healed this within yourself and release this. Releasing someone here too as well. This being a future action with initiation and red energy of Mars connected to Aries and Scorpio. So I do feel that um, this is speaking to your overall energy here with this being the fifth card and you being that change with the five energy being the energy of change. Fifth house energy of Leo coming through here too. Your fifth house um, placements could also be significant as far as your Chiron there too as well. All right. So uh, let's see. I was thinking too. Let's, oh, goodness. Yeah, let's look. Let's see what's on the bottom here before we get to the major arcana. But we have the tower. And so I feel with the truth coming out, possibly where this King of Cups is more connected to this Ace of Swords of Truth and this Four of Wands, um, this tower being more of this energy of a choice being made or the clarity that's actually coming through about a situation where I'm hearing that um, there's a surprise for one of these energies. And with the Twin Flame, the two Twin Flame energies, possibly um, feeling that because They've gotten away with something or whatever that's repeated a cycle here that's been brought into this lifetime to be finished and completed. That um, <clears throat> an energy is able to get away with what it, what it is that they've done in the past. Um, not realizing that you've come into this lifetime here and regenerated and come into your own in a special way where you have brought special tools with you. Magician energy coming through there. The special tools may be this King of Cups here with the third house energy of Gemini and that being the magician energy with the magician card of one and the major arcana being a Gemini card. So that could be the surprise here. That one is manifested to be in a four of wands energy here with releasing a five of wands energy where it may be this King of Pentacles. The Five of Wands being about fighting energy, battling energy. So that being about, too, the energy of not having much cup energy that's present here. Tower energy change significantly coming through here. This is a card of 16. This breaks down to an overall seven. Sevens being about that midway path and the chariot energy. Being in a position to kind of contemplate and make a choice and do what is best for oneself. Seventh house energy is Libra, that having to do with balance. Overall, beauty, the Venus energy, as Libra is ruled by Venus. That coming through there again as well, the Venus energy that I was picking up on. 
I feel um, the energy of love and comfort coming through and that being very important. I feel that connection of this being the center card here too, that being the reason there too as well. But we'll leave this here. And I was guided to do that. I did not do that on purpose, but I just noticed um, the impact of a situation here that may have brought in a tower and is now illuminating the situation. And so with the adoration that I was getting from this King of Cups, I'm getting more too with the King of Cups kind of looking this way at this situation here. Almost looking at the King of Pentacles like, haha. Almost like the joke's on you. There may have been some kind of connection here between this King of Cups and this King of Pentacles here. As everyone included in this reading here, even all of us coming together, we're all soul family. So everyone having a design, purpose, and role coming into this lifetime, interchanging those roles with one another to help each other and assist one another on one's journey when it comes to spiritual awakening. Okay. Just want one card. Oh, oh goodness. And look at there. More than one person. Look at this other king energy. And this is a king energy within you. We got king of swords. That's the only one that's not out here. So I feel like with that not being present, and notice the King of Wands is connected to this Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So some of you, I feel, have already made a decision about a particular person. And it could be this Leo energy that's wanting to play peekaboo. Oh my goodness. How cool is that? No new beginning there with the foundation um, of materialism is what I'm hearing. And that being connected here to a King of Wands. There could be a King of Wands that was in your life that's having a tower moment here. And this doesn't have to be romantic either. But there's no new start when it comes to abundance for this person here too as well as what I'm getting there. And the truth of stability, it affecting stability overall. This coming to light here too as well. That's another story that just came through. So we have three kings here. Three king energy, that's significant there too. So take that as it resonates. North, I'm hearing North Star. A few good moons. Oh, wow. Look at there. And this one wanted to pop too. We'll see what this is after we see what's here. Because I do feel there's another one underneath <laughs> We have two towers and notice where they fell. So there's tower energy between a King of Cups and a King of Pentacles where I do feel there's a connection there where they do know each other. And that ha-ha energy that was coming through <laughs> of this King of Cups looking at this King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles kind of side-eyeing the King of Cups here too. But transformation coming through, I feel for everyone that's involved here. It's a strong King energy. All this royalty that's coming through. But someone, I'm getting, notice the match here too. So look at these crowns here. Very similar. Wow. Ego death, third eye energy with the strength of that ace of swords of truth being in you there. It's bringing down structures that are built on unstable and faulty, false foundations. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So we had two energies of seven here. Sevens were connected very strongly to Pisces and their um, last couple of readings. But we have the tower here that's present with your major arcana coming out. And this landed on the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So there being tower moments between, this could be tower moments for both of these energies with you being in truth, delivering truth, being stable, but being in truth, I feel about a connection, about a situation that has to do with soulmate energy and this being a part of your destiny here. But then also to the story of a king of wands here coming through when it's, when it has to do with um, some kind of stability with material 
and this pinnacle here but i feel it's also too about there not being a new start here when it comes to a king of wands here and that being a tower moment for them towers across the board here with the change that you've made within yourself there delivering truth being in truth standing in truth it's changing everything here and you're completing and accomplishing and overcoming Moving into that Ten of Wands, taking the, any kind of burdens and making them into blessings. And as you continue to do this, I feel it just continues to bring in the towers here. So let's see what we have underneath here. We have the sun. That's that illumination energy that was coming through here in the Four of Wands. And then also the energy I was getting here. But then also, too, the sun energy that's right above... This five of wands energy with the Leo presence there. And that red energy could even be tied, like as I said before, with the Leo energy to this king of wands here. And overcoming that obstacle of a five of wands here. There's crescent moon energy that's here too with this um, sun. So this could be eclipse energy here too that's um, being called into play here. But this is the happiest card of the deck with the sun. There's an unmasking here. So I feel this is more about illumination and the towers that are coming through because of the illumination of situations where people are realizing with the delivery of your truth, um, it's just, it's bringing, it's bringing the house down. It's bringing towers down. Things that were built on lies, on toxicity, with you delivering truth and being the truth, it, again, is bringing in the breakdown of structures that were built on on fakeness and the mask coming off you taking your mask off here too i feel um and when i say that i don't feel that you I, there's a path of integrity for sure here but i feel that there's even more of an elevation and ascension for you and that being a part of this taking off the mask so taking off the mask of who it is that you once were not too long ago but you've grown into that from years before if that makes sense this is a card of 19 this breaks down to an overall one speaking to a new beginning that's coming through here so with you starting a new beginning here with that ace of swords energy i feel that's a part of this illumination and the happy energy that's coming through here too as well surfboarding i'm hearing um <laughs> oh my goodness Drunken love is coming through. We be all night. So that may resonate for some of you here too as well. That sexual passion coming through. I do feel it's about a choice being made when it comes to a king of cups. Between a king of cups and a king of pentacles. And the representation of what this king of pentacles and a king of wands too that wanted to play peekaboo here are going through i feel this is more of romantic and this being not romantic so do take this as it resonates but i'm with these two coming out side by side with all i feel all of these speaking to the energy within yourself and the inner workings of you clearing things and coming into greater abundance spirituality gain overall for yourself the reflection on the outside of you is illuminating the sun card energy coming through here and bringing in these towers. We'll just go ahead and put that over that. And then let's see what came out here too as well. The world card. We have an ending here. This is the end of the major arcana here and also the manifestation cycle. So with an ending, there comes in new beginnings. The impact of this reading with two towers. Um... And then the world card and the sun card is highly significant here. The impact of this change is, is profound. But the angels here holding up this world here, I feel this is speaking to the destiny. This destiny here that is um, designed for you, the stars that are within it, super pretty glowing and golden and it's time for an awesome new here for you so i'm glad that this came through in this way and that um this reading is here i do feel this speaks to the the power that's within you there too as well 
and how you're being lifted up because you're chosen. I'm meant to be here as love, but then also to receive that great amount of wonderful, unconditional agape love that does truly exist. You being here to um, definitely make that statement and make that known and complete your missions here in order to bring more love into this world. Heart. <laughs> All right, so a few moons. this was your bonus reading. I hope that these messages were enjoyable, helpful, enlightening, and empowering for you. I wish you all the very best, and until we meet again, take great care. I love you. Peace.